We're counting down the nine things you should never do with your electric car if you want it to last. From surprising habits that quietly drain your wallet to critical mistakes that can slash your battery's life by years, each entry reveals a common e-fee blunder and how to dodge it. Which bad habit tops the list as the ultimate battery killer? Let's dive in, starting with number nine. Number nine is all about your tires. Electric cars are heavier than gas cars by about 20 to 30%, and that extra weight puts serious pressure on your rubber. The AAA's 2024 study found that EV tires wear out nearly 20% faster, which means skipping rotations is like burning money every time you drive. Rotating your tires every 6,000 to 8,000 miles and checking air pressure once a month isn't just good advice. It's essential for keeping your range and your wallet intact. Tire makers are even rolling out special compounds just for EVIEs because of this. So, if you want to keep rolling smoothly and avoid surprise tire bills, don't let maintenance slide. Extra weight in your EV isn't just a minor inconvenience. It's a direct hit to your driving range. The EPA's 2024 data spells it out. Every 100 pounds you add can shave up to 2% off your range. That gym bag full of dumbbells? Not helping. Delivery fleets tracking cargo saw the same thing. More weight, fewer miles per charge. It's not just about range either. Carrying around extra stuff means your tires work harder, burning through tread even faster. Lighten the load with a quick trunk cleanout. Ditch old sports gear, extra tools, and anything you don't use daily. Travel light, drive farther, and keep your EV running at its best. Public charging stations might all look the same, but the difference between them can make or break your trip. The U.S. Department of Energy counted over 180,000 public charging ports for electric vehicles in 2025. But here's the catch. Only about 15% of those are fast chargers. That means most stations you'll find on the map are slower level two chargers, which can take hours to top off your battery. Reliability isn't guaranteed either. Outages and broken connectors have stranded more than a few drivers. That's why seasoned electric vehicle owners swear by apps like PlugShare and ChargePoint. These tools let you filter stations by power level, check recent user reviews, and even spot which chargers are out of order before you roll up. A little planning with the right app turns a potential headache into a smooth, worry-free drive. Regenerative braking is like flipping on your car's energy recycling system. Instead of wasting momentum as heat, your electric vehicle turns it back into battery charge every time you slow down. The EV database logged that strong region can recover anywhere from 10 to 30% of your energy, especially in stop-and-go city traffic. That's not just a boost for your range, it means less wear on your actual brakes too. Most electric vehicles let you pick how aggressive you want region to be, right from a menu or with paddle shifters. Crank it up for city commutes and one pedal driving, or tone it down on the highway. Every model's a little different, so dig into your settings and try different levels. Dialing in your region, i.e. isn't just smart. It's basically free miles. And your brake pads will thank you later. Cold weather and electric vehicle batteries have never been friends. When the temperature drops below freezing, your car's battery can take up to 50% longer to charge, according to a 2022 NREL study. That's not just a stat. It's the difference between a quick coffee stop and waiting half an hour 
in a winter parking lot, shivering while your car crawls from 10% to 80%. Hundreds of drivers in Seattle learned this the hard way during the 2023 cold snap, stuck in charger queues because they skipped preconditioning. The fix is surprisingly simple. Tap the precondition button in your app before you plug in or hit the road on a cold morning. Most electric vehicles will gently warm the battery, saving you 20 to 40 minutes at a fast charger and sparing your cells from extra stress. So, unless you love long winter waits, give your battery a little warm up before charging. Skipping software updates on your electric car is like refusing a free tune-up from a mechanic who works through the cloud. Automakers now roll out over-the-air improvements that do more than fix bugs. They can actually boost your range and help your battery last longer. Ford's 2022 Mach-E update is a perfect example. Owners woke up to find their cars could drive up to 12 miles farther per charge with faster DC charging speeds thrown in. These updates often tweak how your battery is managed, fine-tuning charging rates and temperature controls to squeeze out more life and performance. The catch? You need to keep your car connected to Wi-Fi, especially overnight in the garage, so those updates can download and install automatically. Most owners miss out just because they never set up auto updates. So, treat your EV like your phone. Keep it updated and you'll get more range, better charging, and a battery that goes the distance. Leaving your electric vehicle plugged in at 100% is like putting your battery on a tight leash and yanking it every morning. Most lithium ion batteries start to feel the strain when they are held at full charge for hours on end. That's why Tesla's 2023 owner's manual spells it out. Charging to 100% is not recommended for daily use. The sweet spot for daily charging? Somewhere between 80 and 90%. This isn't just a Tesla thing. Ford, GM, Hyundai, and even Volkswagen all echo the same advice in their manuals. Sitting at 100% means higher voltage inside the cells, which ramps up chemical stress and slowly eats away at capacity. Scientists call this calendar aging, and it's the silent killer of battery life. The fix is almost laughably easy. Set your car's charge limit in the app or on the dashboard and use scheduled charging so it tops off just before you hit the road. Save 100% for road trips, not grocery runs. Your battery will thank you and you won't have to worry about it staging a quiet protest in a few years. DC fast chargers are the espresso machines of the electric vehicle world. Quick, powerful, and not something you want every day. Battery University's 2023 data spells it out. If you make DC fast charging your daily habit, your battery can degrade 10 to 15% faster over 100,000 miles. That's not just a lab quirk. Every time you plug into a 150 kilowatt or higher charger, you're blasting your battery with a high voltage jolt. Inside those cells, rapid charging heats things up, creating thermal hotspots and microscopic damage that quietly add up. University of Michigan researchers have even caught lithium plating and internal resistance spikes on camera after repeated fast charges. Most automakers, Tesla, Hyundai, GM, recommend saving DC fast charging for road trips or emergencies. For daily top-ups, level two home charging is your battery's best friend. Treat fast chargers like a double shot of espresso, great for a boost 
but not for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Your battery and your wallet will last a lot longer. Letting your EV battery drop all the way to zero isn't just risky. It's one of the fastest ways to aid your car before it's time. Lithium ion batteries, like the ones in almost every modern electric car, really don't like being pushed to their absolute limits. When you run the battery down to empty, you trigger chemical reactions inside the cells that can permanently reduce how much charge they can hold. It's like starving your battery and expecting it to bounce back every time. Over five years, cars kept above 20% state of charge actually retain about 12% more capacity, according to Recurrent Auto's 2024 study. That's the difference between a car that still does road trips and one that's stuck on city duty. Rideshare fleets learned this the hard way. Drivers who made a habit of deep cycling their batteries ended up with whole modules needing replacement long before the warranty was up. Battery replacements aren't just expensive, they're a paperwork nightmare. The fix is simple. Keep your daily charge between 20 and 80%. Set a low charge alert in your app and plan your stops so you're never rolling into a charger on fumes. Your battery will last longer, your range will stay strong, and you won't be that person sweating over a tow bill in the middle of nowhere. Don't starve the battery, feed it right, and it'll return the favor. From skipping tire rotations to letting your battery run dry, these nine EV mistakes cover everything from simple neglect to habits that can quietly wreck your car's most expensive part. The most shocking entries, like letting your battery hit 0% or hammering it with constant DC fast charging, stand out because they speed up battery degradation by up to 15% or more over time, according to industry studies. But across all entries, a clear pattern emerges. Small, everyday habits, where you charge, how much weight you carry, and if you update your software, add up to big differences in how long your EV lasts and how much money you save. What really sets this category apart is how much control owners have through routine care and smart charging. In every case, protecting your EV means respecting the chemistry and tech under the hood. The real takeaway? If you want your electric car to go the distance, consistency beats shortcuts. So avoid these pitfalls and your battery and wallet will thank you.